to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Hello everyone, happy Monday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today's just gonna be another life update. Uh, I feel like we're just doing these all the time now, <laughs> but it's been it's been a couple weeks since we've uploaded a video and we've just been busy. And I, I hate to say that because I, I feel like, I don't know, anytime creators, like content creators come on, they're like, I'm sorry, I've been busy. I'm like, well, yeah, we're all busy, but we've been busy. And you know, we, we've just been busy. And I just haven't been able to really pick up the camera and dedicate time um, and effort into filming and then editing. So that's where we're at. But it's been a great couple of weeks. We had a wonderful, wonderful Halloween. I'll put in a couple of pictures here of trick or treating and our costumes. And it was just an awesome time. We actually spent a full week at my parents' house up in North Austin. So we got to spend a lot of time with them, which is really, really important to us right now. And went um, trick or treating. Eva got to trick or treat with her cousins and just had a blast. It was so much fun. Matt and I had a blast. We got more candy than we know what to do with. Obviously Eva's not gonna be eating at all. She's had like a couple pieces of it, but for the most part, she still doesn't really understand like trick or treating. She's just like, hey, everybody's outside in costumes and this is fun. She actually took her candy from her bucket and was putting it in um, the buckets whenever we would knock on the doors, which was really cute. She would grab her candy and put it in the bucket. But we just had such a good time. And then we have a new addition to the family. My brother and his wife had their baby girl. It's just been really exciting being able to, obviously we haven't been able to go see them. They're in Houston and with restrictions in hospitals right now, they didn't allow any visitors, but they've been sending us pictures and we're just so excited for another member of the family. We have been really busy also clearing out the RV and clearing out a bunch of stuff from storage. We had a ton of things stored up from whenever Eva was little, like her bassinet, a ton of clothes, um, basically everything that we've been using for the last two years that she no longer does, we've been storing and kind of unsure what to do with it. So we've been going through a lot of the stuff a lot of it is we're going to be giving away and then some of it we're keeping for um, my brother and his wife for future stuff for their little girl. Clearing out storage, going through a bunch of things, taking down the Halloween decorations, although the spider is still up. Taking those down, getting ready for Christmas because as you probably know, probably remember, Christmas is just my favorite thing ever. And we've already been starting with Christmas movies with Eva. She likes to go to Target and see because they have all their Christmas decorations out. She likes to go to Target and go up and down the aisles and see all the Christmas stuff. So we're just getting really, really excited about the holiday season. Thanksgiving is in two weeks, which I can't believe. And so getting ready with plans for that for both of our families. And then once, once Thanksgiving is over, I feel like the holiday, just, like the season just speeds up and everything just happens really, really quickly. And so we're kind of trying to get stuff cleared out. We're having to buy a ton of new decorations because we need more now that we are not in the RV. We got a big house to decorate. So, um, so I, got a, I got an itchy nose. Um, I want to do a video showing our decorating, but it's probably gonna be in pieces. So uh, I wanna get a different tree. We've got a tree that is okay. You might remember that last year we put up our tree in the house here. Obviously it wasn't done, but we put up our tree in the house and we decorated it because I wanted to decorate a tree, but we were in the RV, so we didn't have space for it. So we decorated the tree um, in the house and then I believe we took it over to the RV. I think, I can't really remember, but so that was fun. But this year we get to decorate a tree inside the house and enjoy it for the Christmas season. But we need a new tree because the ceilings are nice and tall. And the tree that we have is like five and a half feet, maybe six feet, and we just need bigger. But I wanted to get your opinion on 
where we should put the Christmas tree. So we've got a couple options. Obviously, this is option number one. We could put it here, but it's going to block this door. We don't use this one yet because we don't have the steps built to the back area, but it would kind of block this door. Definitely would block this one, which is fine. So that's option one. Option two would be right here because it's kind of a, a bare wall. We'll, we will be putting a dining table somewhere in here eventually. We have it, we just haven't put it in yet because holidays and I wanted to have this space open for decorate, I don't know. But uh, this is another option right here, but it's also kind of in the way. Um, I don't wanna put it here because this is Eva's little play corner. Obviously it would just clutter up this area. But then the next option would be in front of this window which I like that idea because it's in the window and then you can see it from outside. Um, but we would need to do something with this because if the tree is there, it's gonna block up this space. We might need to move these over. I don't know, tell me what you think. Anybody that's good with um, space and decorating, <laughs> and interior design, let me know where we should put the tree um, because that's something we're kind of debating. I think Matt's got his own idea. He's putting Eva to sleep right now, so that's why he's not, not here. See, I don't know. I'm leaning more towards right here on this bare wall. And I mean, we could even put it a little bit over here so that it's not blocking up this walkway. I, I kind of like, I'm leaning more towards that, but I'm not great at this stuff, and so if you have any suggestions, please leave them below. That's the plan. We, we will probably be going to Walmart to get some decorations this week. Uh, Eva is going to have a tree for her room. It's going to be smaller, of course, but she's going to have a tree. It's going to be really cute with little pink ornaments, and I think I do want to decorate her room with Christmas stuff too, and so we'll kind of trade out her normal decor, which is not up yet, for Christmas decor every year. and just make it a whole thing and I'm really excited. I don't know how we're gonna decorate the outside yet. Um, I know Matt's still hesitant to do much out there because it's not done, but it's Christmas and I think we're supposed to have one or two Christmas parties here. Like we're supposed to be hosting them, which is exciting, but I also want to decorate and have everything looking like as festive as possible. Oh, last thing, are the lights. So we've still got the Halloween lights up right now. These are orange. Ta -da. But we're gonna trade them out for these. Bye. I love the multicolored lights. To me, multicolored lights say Christmas. Um, don't know if anybody agrees with me. Let me know in the comments. But like the big multicolored bulbs are Christmas to me because my parents had this set of um, like multicolored big, like the big, um, they weren't textured, but just like the big multicolored bulbs that we would put on the house every year. And so now that just makes me think of Christmas. So I told him that we have to do the multicolored lights for up there. How many times can I say multicolored? I don't know, but we need to trade those out, taking the old spider down. I can't remember his name. And figuring out the decorations for the rest of the house. We really are starting from scratch. We've got a couple small tubs in storage that Matt's going to get out as soon as Halloween is gone. But it's, I mean, they were decorations that we used for the RV. So we got a lot, a lot. But is anybody else decorating yet? Let me know. But that's kind of what we've been up to. Um, busy, busy at work. Matt's been busy with everything that he has going on. Um, he, he works really, really hard. He's been pretty much working all day um, after we go to bed, after I go to bed at night, uh, he stays up and gets a bunch of stuff done for work. So he's been working really hard. And so I'm just looking forward to the holidays and just enjoying the season, like our favorite season. Another thing is that we got a rock gym here in San Marcos. If you've been around with the channel for a while, since before Eva, we used to rock climb multiple days per week, but we had to drive all the way up to Austin to climb. So it would be pretty much an all day thing. We drive 45 minutes up there. If there's no traffic, 45 minutes, 
climb for a couple hours and then drive back. So it would be three, four, five hours we'd have to be gone. So as you probably know, it's not as easy with a little one. We finally got a rock gym here in town and we've already been three times and it opened last month. <laughs> So safe to say we are really excited about getting back into climbing. I'm still gonna be lifting. I'm still working on um, my whole cutting process and getting leaner, which I do need to do an update video on that. But um, we're gonna be adding in climbing and I'm really excited and Matt's excited again and it's just nice to see him getting excited about something that he enjoys in terms of like fitness. because. It's been really hard for him to get to the actual gym because his his work schedule has just been so hectic. Anytime I go, he's in meetings, he's on calls, so he hasn't been able to go to the gym. But now um, they have at the, the rock gym, they've got an upstairs little loft area where you can sit. They've got tables so he can work from, from there if he needs to or wants to um, and climb. And so it's been really cool just to see that open up because we've been in San Marcos for, I mean, Matt's been in San Marcos his whole life. There's never been a rock gym in this area and finally to be a part of it opening up is really neat. So hoping it does well. If you're from the area, you can check out, it's called Armadillo Boulders um, and you probably will see us there. We go quite often. Um, so I'm excited to kind of bring that aspect of fitness back into our lifestyle, you focus a bit more on core strength, you focus a bit more on balance and kind of body awareness because lifting is awesome and it works on pure strength, the, the type of training that I do. It works on strength, um, obviously body composition. I just love lifting heavy, but climbing kind of helps me to marry the bodybuilding strength training lifestyle and real life because it brings a whole new element of core strength mental toughness, body awareness, and you can kind of put them together. So that's gonna be really, really fun. Um, so yeah, long-winded. This video is 14 minutes, but that's our update. A lot going on. I apologize that I have not been um, <laughs> uploading frequently. I know I was like, I'm gonna do three days a week, and then I disappeared. But it's just, I'm, I'm at a point in our life um, and with family and motherhood to where if, I cannot dedicate the time to filming and editing. I don't beat myself up about it because the, YouTube is a passion of mine. I love it and I love this community we've built, but I also know that it's, it can't be everything because I have so many other things going on and I've been trying to spend as much time with family um, and Eva and loved ones as possible. And so if there's a chance and that takes priority, like I'm, I'm gonna let it happen. Um, so last thing, I'm still debating on Vlogmas. Um, if you don't know what Vlogmas is, it's essentially a video a day in December leading up to Christmas. And we have done it every year for the last probably seven years on YouTube. And it's just a fun way to kick off the holidays, to enjoy Christmas together. I. I, I love the videos that we put out because we just do, it's it's not serious, it's fun. We do games, we do uh, cooking videos, recipe videos. Um, I like to do workout videos. Just, just fun, silly life things. I want to do it again, but judging by how the last couple weeks have gone um, and how quickly the days are getting ahead of me, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. You guys let me know if you wanna see Vlogmas. If there is a majority that wanna see it, I'm gonna do it because I know that a lot of you look forward to Vlogmas, of bringing in Christmas together. Um, just, I, I know that so many of y'all have enjoyed the videos because they bring um, a little Christmas cheer to your day every single day. So let me know in the comments and I can make it happen. I would probably need to start filming now and there might be a bit of a hiatus again until Vlogmas. Um, if I start planning and filming now, I should probably be able to do it. <laughs> but that would mean that uh, any other videos leading up to December would be put on hold. Um, so let me know what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. It's rambling, I know, but 
just catching you up uh, on life. I hope everybody's doing well. Let us know in the comments what you've been up to lately. How was your Halloween? Did you go trick or treating? Do you have kids? Did they enjoy trick or treating? What did you dress up as? Let us know all of the things. That's gonna be it. Appreciate you sticking along. Appreciate you tuning in. If you did enjoy this update, I always ask that you hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. It helps the algorithm. It helps other people see our videos. And that's gonna be it. We will see you in the next video. I'm gonna say that. Don't know when it'll be, but stay tuned. That's it. Okay, have fun out there. Bye.